Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. You've joined me on a very wet and miserable day today. But these are the perfect conditions for catching big fish, as you well know. And what we're doing today is we're hitting the river. Now the river is still very swollen and got a lot of water coming down it, which is absolutely perfect. <laughs> Not really for barbel fishing or chub fishing because there's a lot of crap coming down, but it's perfect for those predators that will be stuck right in the slag waters, right in the margin and will be quite easy to find, or at least quite easy to catch when we find them, hopefully. I've got a few different bait options, a few different rigging options. I've got some brand new baits with me and a brand new net with me today, so hopefully I'll have some good luck, and hopefully we'll put some big specimen fish on the bank. Big perch is the aim of the game today, BFS style, you can't beat it. So the BFS combo that I'm using today, you have seen before, I have called some cracking perch on it on the channel. Um, and that is the Rodfather 3 to 14 gram, paired up with the Shimano Aldebaran. Now the baits I'm using, I have used before, but I've got them in a brand spanking new paint job. Now this is the Chrome series of Kofi Perch and Bleak that I brought with me today. And it's a really interesting paint job because it's sort of similar to that of either a spinner bait or a hard bait. Um, so I've got quite a nice sheen to it and I'm thinking maybe that coupled up with the soft plastic design will hopefully be able to tempt some of these perch from the deep, dark, dirty, murky waters down in the slag water. There's only maybe three or four inches of visibility so I'm hoping the shine from that new chrome design combined with them being soft plastic baits will hopefully enable me to catch some fish. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we might find a fish quite quickly. I'm going to areas that I know fish really, really well when it's flooded. So hopefully we'll get a few on the bank. Fish on. Oh, that's a good perch. That's a fantastic perch. Right under my feet in the slack water. My new net. <laughs> that's a fantastic perch. Look at that. Absolutely inhaled it. And that's the new metallic. Um, pattern Kofi perch I knew it would work today look at that absolutely destroyed it that's a fantastic perch you might get that one weighed actually well guys this is the sort of flood water fish that we're after today tucked right in the margins away from the main flow she doesn't want to present for you today but that's a fantastic fish and in winter time it'd probably be a fish of about two and a half to three pound right now it's probably I'm going to say bang on two or maybe just under, maybe a 115, 114. Beautiful fish. And absolutely crushed it and we almost had a brace. Had another hit straight after, unfortunately didn't get the hook up. Right, let's move on and try and find some more fish in these slag quarters. Amazing result. Just interrupting the fishing for one moment to get you guys to go and check out episode two of the YPC Bank UK tournament that I'm taking part in. This is the second half of group A's first session um, and then group B will be next weekend which is when I'm fishing so make sure you go and root for me. So go and check that out, I'll leave it pinned in the comment section below. Let's crack on with the fishing. Here we'll start off literally working the water at my feet. And it's slack down there, so that's where they'll be. It's quite deep actually as well. Fish on, fish on. Feels like a good perch. 
Oh, it is. It's a fantastic perch. I knew it. I knew there'd be one here. Brand new net. Get in. That is a fantastic perch. That's over 40 centimetre. And that's actually the chrome coloured bleak. I put it on a weedless rigging because I was getting snagged up quite a lot. Look at that. Absolutely crushed it. Exactly where I knew they'd be. Right, I'll actually rest this one and have a few more casts. Just see if there's any more down there. And I'm going to see if there's any more down there. That was a really good hit. Some of these areas are so snaggy. I'm struggling to use just a... That's another snag there, look. I knew even on the weedless rigging. You can see I'm struggling to use just a bare jig head in some areas because there's so many big snags. Even with a weedless rigging, look. I've got one. Snapped. Damn. As per the usual ginger fisherman fashion, my scales aren't working. <laughs> Fantastic perch though, 42 centimetre. This one, once again, probably a fish over two pound. Look at size and a really, really nice fish. Right down in the slag quarter. I thought I'd get some more down there, but I kept getting snagged up. Probably ruined the swim, never mind. But that is why we fish, these flooded conditions. Get some absolute units. Right, let's get this one back. She's already been well rested. So during this session we were very quickly moving around the river just trying to find slack waters, not wasting time anywhere else. And the most important thing to remember is when you find a slack water in these conditions, there's a very good chance there will be a fish there. So don't just have one or two casts in one of these areas. Make sure you work every inch of that slack water because you never know quite where they're going to be. But nine times out of 10, they do tend to be just under your feet in the quietest water possible, as that's where all the fry are gonna be holding out, out of the main flow. Whoa, fish on. Whoa, how fast was that? I thought I was stuck on a snag. It hit the water, bang. That's a big fish, that's a big fish. By big fish, I mean bigger than a two pound perch. It's probably a pike. My God, it is an amazing fight. <laughs> because I'm fishing heavy enough. Um, it's just, if I can, if the rod's got enough backbone to pull it up this current, my line should be strong enough to hold. <clears throat> but to not fall in here, because if we fall in, there's a good chance we might drown. Come on. Oh, that is quite stuck. How are we gonna get that? Oh, we're gonna let him swim downstream. The current will pull the line off the snag, hopefully. There we go. Oh, he's bolted. Okay. Now, I've got to try and kite him out into the main flow, which you normally don't want. But if you want to get him away from the snags in the margin, that's what we need him to do. Have we done it? We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. We've got him into the main flow. That's where we want him. That's where we want him. Come on, we can do this. <laughs> it took some manoeuvring. But we finally got him out of the snags and into the main flow which is not particularly where you want to fight him. But to get him out from the snags, that's what I had to do, and that is a good sized pike. Oh, yes, 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 there we go, there we go, there we go. That's what I want him to do, that's what I want him to do. Come on, come on. We're so close. We got it. Oh, I've never had to put so much effort into landing a fish. What a battle in the flood water. Oh my God. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know what? I ended it by falling over. I'm all stung up now as well. What a battle that was. It's a chubby fish, not very long. No, not bad. 85, 85 centimeter. <laughs> now I don't know what it is about that chrome series of baits I've been using today but it's the first time I've used them 
and the fish are absolutely smashing it. This pike nailed it as soon as it hit the water. I don't know if you could see that. And it's almost very similar with those perch I've caught. I brought it down to the margin. Bang, absolutely crushed it. This is an 85 centimeter pike. It's not huge, but very, very fat. I've been sat in the slack waters, probably eating loads of minnow. Let's get him back. She deserves a long rest after that. I'm actually setting my net up for this swim. Oh, squeaky, squeaky. This swim looks juicy AF. If I was a perch, I'd be sat down there anyway. Hopefully there's one down there. Just straighten the eyes out. Oh, that's a weed. That was weed, I was getting excited. There we go, fish on. Oh, it's a big perch. Beached it. Sorry, buddy. Oh, there's another one, there's another one. I spooked it, I spooked it. There's another fish there. It came up and swirled when I was uh, playing this one. Oh, look at that, just popped tight in the net. Sit this one just there, fine in the water. I knew it'd be good for perch here. So I know there has to be another fish down there because as I was playing that one, a fish swirled down to the right. Actually, where I'd already had a few casts. Unless it was just my mind playing tricks on me. Definitely looked like there was another fish down there. Oh, it's a carp. There's a carp over there. That's what the swirl was. It's a little mirror carp. It's been washed in here by the floods. I bet there's all kinds of fish that have been washed in here after the floods and a little mirror carp is one of them. That must have been the swell. He's following my bait. <laughs> he's not going to take it, he's, he's too small. Right, we're up to the water's edge now, which is sketchy because I don't want to fall in or spook any fish that might be down in the margin. I'm going to try and get a cast down to this left because it seems to be a bit of a back eddy down there. And I, sort of in the area where I caught that perch. There we go, fish. Oh, that was a big fish, we lost it. Back. Screwed my bait up massively, that was a big fish. Probably a big pike or maybe even a big chub. Definitely not a perch, I don't think, unless it was an absolute unit. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is, this is the last cast with the soft plastic in this spot, um, because I've just lost a big fish, didn't know what it was. Uh, I'm just gonna change over baits to like a chatter bait. It's what I was probably going to do most of this session. That was another fish. Got my bait. <laughs> I miss another one. That was a really fast hit. That might have been a chub or I would say perch. I don't think that was a pike. I'll start talking again and see if it happens again. So as I was saying, the plan for this session was going to be, I was probably going to use a chatter bait most of the day. But because I've had such good luck on these new Chrome Series baits, um, that's a snag, I decided to stick with it, obviously catching big perch, pike. But yeah, we'll, we'll give it a go with chatterbait now and uh, see if we can pick up any bonus fish. The sun's starting to come out now, which is quite nice. It was really cold earlier. Oh, whoa, made me jump. I missed the bite, went to just pick up the slag, and there's a perch on the end. That's on the chat bait, just sort of using it like a jig. Absolutely crushed it. <laughs> on the chat bait, little chrome trailer, beautiful fish. I put him in the net actually. First one was caught on the bleak weedless rig. I lost a big fish, possibly a big pike. 
changed over to a chatter bait just to see if there was anything else still down there. I was working it like a standard jig, just lifting it up off the bottom really aggressively and letting it sink down and whack, the smaller one came and took it. But this has turned out to be an absolutely amazing session. Oh, I didn't expect any less in these conditions though, if I'm honest with you. Right, let's get them back. Fish on, fish on. Oh, look at the net round there. <laughs> Just put on a smaller bait. It's a little seven centimetre curvy perch. Bang. Lovely, lovely, chunky perch. That's a really nice one. I'll rest him in the net and we'll see if we can find any more. That was quick. As soon as I put on a smaller bait. Look how washed out they are. We're not going to keep them in the net, the rain's coming down. I'm worried about my camera starting to break, so we won't be too long before we're going to pack up. But I'm catching some absolutely fantastic fish. Absolutely awesome session. This really has turned out to be a great session. Well, guys, it looked like it was going to get sunny, and all of a sudden it changed. It is hammering it down with rain. I'm now in my full waterproof gear. Hopefully, I don't break anything. And one thing I will say is, I haven't lost my net today, yes, we've still got it. I have had sessions in the past where I've got brand new nets and lost them on the same session. I'm really, really bad. And I'm thinking maybe it was luck of the new net today that's meant that I've caught some fantastic fish. What a fantastic session we've had. I've caught two perch that were, I would say were both over two pound. One of them, the 42 centimetre fish was probably over two and a half. It was a really, really good fish. It's just been a great session all around. I've only been fishing for about three and a half hours max, I would say, actual fishing time. And we've had some fantastic results. And to say the river is absolutely raging through, it just shows that if you find the slack waters, the fish are there and they're still hungry and they've got to feed even in these conditions. And I'll leave all the bits and bobs that I've used in the comment section below, as well as the rod and reel setup that I've used as well. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've really enjoyed it. And don't forget to root for me in the YPC UK. I mentioned it at the start of this video. Um, there's an episode going out this weekend, actually just before this video goes out. So I'll link that down in the comment section below. And then next week is my first episode. So make sure you go over and cheer for me. If you like this video, don't forget to like it. If you want to, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later.